I almost died and I wish I was joking but I'm really not this was a real story that happened to me and maybe this story will help somebody else out there who's gone through similar situations as me and kind of hopefully the story kind of serves as a lesson for others out there who maybe not have things up to date to do that because it definitely was a very scary experience. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I recently was in Japan for a two week tour with my band and it was a great time. I went out, I ate a lot of stuff, I traveled, played shows, had a great time. I was doing a lot of cool toy hunts and going to Tokyo Disneyland. Everything was a success. Everything was going according to plan. And then on the way back from my trip, on my plane ride back home to LAX, I was flying about six hours into the flight. And then I had bought um, a Japanese snack that was at the 7-Eleven at the airport, which they actually had. And I didn't read the ingredients. Usually I use Google Translate to like translate the ingredients because they're usually not in English. And for some reason, the curvature on the cup, I couldn't read the ingredients. So because the snack had said something very specific, like corn cheese snack, I thought, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not allergic to corn or cheese, so it should be okay. And then I ate it. And then about 20 minutes later, I, I realized, oh, something's wrong. I feel like my throat is getting kind of swollen. So then I looked it up, I Googled it, and I realized it was processed in a facility that had traces of you know, things that I'm allergic to. And then I got a little scared so I took all my medication that I had on with me and it wasn't working enough. So I, I talked to the flight attendant and they really helped me. They stepped it up and they're like, do you need help? And I said, yeah, I need help. And so they called overboard. If anyone here is a medical professional, please come on back. We need somebody who needs help. So immediately I was saved by like some Japanese doctors. There was a language barrier. So we tried through Google Translate. And then uh, a nurse who was on board from Texas, she was like my angel, she saved me and really could communicate with me. And so she was able to get the vials of epinephrine and then start injecting me right there on the plane. And I needed several injections. My heart rate was going crazy. I realized that my EpiPen that I carried was expired. And so that was my mistake, second mistake that I made. And so I learned a big lesson, you know, obviously never travel without an expired EpiPen and also make sure you read the ingredients for the food, especially if you have allergies like I do. So I was on the plane. Obviously there's moments where I thought, am I gonna make it? And um, my nurse reassured me on the plane that as long as I'm still breathing, I'm gonna make it. So they talked to the pilot. They almost diverted an entire flight uh, to San Francisco airport, but they ended up making it to LAX. We landed 40 minutes early. I was really out of it by then. I didn't really know what was going on. My band members stepped up and tried to help me, you know, get all my belongings and things like that. So I got off the plane, they triaged me right there, and then I got thrown into an ambulance and then I got admitted to the hospital. And so I was admitted to the hospital. I was there for at least 24 hours after the ER to make sure that I wasn't really swelling again. And so it was a very scary experience and it was a lesson learned, you know, next time carry not don't carry an expired EpiPen and also read the ingredients of the food. So I definitely had a near death experience. I thought I was going to die, but luckily I made it out. I'm still recovering, but I wanted to come on here and talk to everybody and let you know that I am alive. I'm doing better now. And yeah, this is something I usually don't share on this channel, but because I have a lot of friends out here who support me on my channel, I wanted to be honest with you and let you know what's going on in my personal life and maybe why I haven't been uploading any videos recently. So I will get back on it. I have a lot of videos to come on this channel from my trip, at least three or four videos. So I'm very excited to share that with you very soon. But thank you for being patient with me and please spread this story to those who may need it. If you know somebody who has allergies or who has you know any sensitivities to food or environmental allergies, this could be a good reminder to always remember to carry um, an EpiPen that's not expired. Always talk to your doctor, your allergist, and yeah, always read what you're gonna eat because I definitely learned my lesson from this. So I wanted to share my story and if you have any more questions or comments, leave it below and I hope to see you soon on a regular video and not something so personal like this one.